All right. Let's do it. How's everybody doing today? A little drunk, dude. Pretty fire. Pretty fire? Is that what the kids say? Hell yeah, dude. It's hey, what the I'm, gamers I'm, say nowadays. I'm learning. Fire? The, no, he just said fire. It wasn't straight fire. It's just fire. Straight fire, man. Is that what old people say? All right. I'm getting some really bad lag. <laughs> hmm. Nice job, support. Oh, we're falling back. Thank you. Yes. Hey, buddy. My Pokemon thing just got a new seat, new part. Yeah. All right, buddy. You enjoy that. Anybody got ions for the frigates? If not, let me know. Which one are we going for? Take the shields down first. See, be good. All right. But does anybody have ions? That's a nope. Uh, big nope. Uh, I just had the missiles. I don't know if they actually do anything. Well. Ion lasers, rockets, missiles, they do loads of uh, shield damage. So if you got any, dump them on the frigates. You can dumb fire them. Love for the support. Keeping keeping us up. Good job. Yeah, support's really hooking us up. This is Papa. We gotta Sean. figure out how to, how to play that. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Could use a resupply if you've got one.
going back to base. You were saying? No, I just gotta figure out how to use the support. I'm so new that I don't know how to do, like use the support yet. They seem pretty powerful, though. Well, that's very powerful if you get a good team to keep up. So careful not to extend too far when we're on defense because the caps, capital ships, the frigates and stuff will take you out real fast. Yeah. Take out the Corvette. Does a lot of damage to our capital ships. How do I, when you guys give a uh, location of where you want us to shoot, how do I automatically lock onto that? Game controller or HOTAS? Uh, game controller. Uh, generally, it's the Y key. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. So if you're new, killing the Corvette straight out the bat is, is usually a good way to go. Advanced players aren't going to die as often, so Corvette's a sitting duck, and it does a lot of damage. Gotcha. I see it. We get it? Yep, and it flipped us over. Now we're on the offense. We're free to attack their capital ships now. God, this game is amazing. <laughs> amazing. Papa Sean, do you usually play alone? No. Like, no. Okay. Because I generally do. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering. Like, I generally do, and I find that I have a huge problem. Like, I'm generally getting a lot of kills each match as an mm -hmm. interceptor. But yep. like, I never win. It's so whack. Go tie fighter. Cry. Go tie fighter and prioritize frigates and cap ship when you're on offense, and then go to town. 
dogfight and when you're on defense. Gotcha. You should win a lot more that way. The thing is, is that everybody wants to go out there and dogfight. Nobody's doing damage to the capital ships. Big you know, facts. Yeah, I learned that really quick. I, it, it's kind of like a whole different type of game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it rewards being selfless, I think, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. Do a lot of people play this variant, or do, do more people play dogfighting, you think? Only ranked is fleet battles, so people go where the ranks are. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Got a couple swarming me, so if you guys are free, go ahead and. I'm, I got you, bruv. <laughs> can only dance for so long. Thank you. Um, cool fact when you're on offense and you get within 1,000 range of one of your cruisers, they will chew through anybody following you. Does the main storyline teach you how to control the ships a little bit better? Are I think so. Using mouse and keyboard or controller? No, I'm playing on VR with a controller. I did the uh, entire storyline. I just thought it was good practice. And then I was playing on Hotos. Ended up getting trigger finger and a couple fingers on my hand and had to switch to game controller. Learn how to fly. Yeah, I mean, I like the controller because I'm kind of old, so like I'm just used to it. Yeah, it's a lot kinder to us old folk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> more ergonomic. Just kind of habit at this point. If you see like little blinking red circles or squares or whatever out there in the field go ahead and destroy them it only takes like two or three shots they're either turrets repairs various crap that's going to help them hurt us just a heads is up. that what's is that what's rapidly shooting me yep those are little turrets people are throwing yeah it's a pain in the ass Guys, uh, Corvettes up if you've got missiles, whatever. Fuck. Any chance you get, just dump on that Corvette. Let's go! 
Uh, another good thing to do when you're on defense is kill the AI. They're only worth three when you're on defense. They're worth one when you're on offense. So one way of flipping it over, especially when the skies are clear of everything else, is just to kill AI. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. In the tutorial, it makes you think that the AI are worthless. Yeah, you can flip a game. Um, uh, the bombers are the best for taking out AI. They got cluster or uh, multi-locks, I should say. And there's also the um, big radius explosion with the Goliath missile that'll take out five or six AI at one blow. God dang. Whoa. All right, we're about to flip it. And we did. So if you can get the shields down, you can take out their power system with one missile, one ion missile. And you can dumb fire that. So just a heads up. And then you open up little glowing spots on the hole that do masses amount of damage if you take them out. Don't forget to take out those turrets if you get a chance. They're gonna chew up our Corvette Raider thing. Shields are down. If you got an ion missile, you can take out the uh, power system. We're about to switch, so get clear of the Star Destroyer. Come on back. Or not the Star Destroyer, but the MC-75. Get on back to the Star Destroyer. MC-75 will one-shot you at this point. <laughs> We're on the Corvette now. Nice job on the Corvette. They got a lock on me. Damn. Nice job. We're flipping over, going on the offense. You can go back inside the uh, destroyer's hangar and resupply. Alright, so their targeting's down, but we want to take out the power system, so I'll make a run on that right now. I'm going to target the power system for you all to see it. If I don't take it out, join Is it on the top or the bottom? It's the... if You you should see it on the map. 
It's about to go down right now. Or I can get killed right on top of it. It's at like one fifth. Good job. Ooh, okay. There you go. Now I know. <laughs> you know how to target uh, subsystems? If you've got your targeting for uh, straight in front of you, you know that button for targeting things in front of you? Yeah. You can hold it down and it will give you the option to switch between different target types. Like oh, players, shit. Subsystems. Oh, man. Love it. Thank you for that. That's cool. That's good knowledge. Alright, fall back, fall back, get to the Star Destroyer. If you're out there, you're going to get murked by the MC-75. Okay, Google. Alright, we're killing the Corvette again. Everybody dump everything you got on that Corvette. What's going on with my computer? Getting really weird lag. Like the VR can't handle all the, the shots. Finish off the Corby. Don't forget AI, we're three. There we go. Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. inside the Star Destroyer resupply and we'll finish off the MC-75 in this run. Their shield generators are up. You can get underneath the shields and kill the blue sparks. Otherwise, take down the shields, take out the Star... Uh, Shield generators. Try not to die. If you're low, run on back to base. GG. Hell yeah. Well done. Yeah, that was, that was actually, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for explaining everything, man. You got it.